Hey, hey, what's up, Control Pro? Eric Stromquist here. And if you want to get indoor air quality right, one of the things you've got to get right is you've got to get the pressurization of your building or your space right. And to do that, you've got to have good sensors. Uh, my friends at ACI have some great pressure sensors. They have the MLP2, which is a mini sensor, very cost effective. But to tell you a little bit about why this is so important, uh, reach out to my friend Kurt Spackman at ACI. So check it out. Hello, my name is Kurt Spackman, and I'm a technical support engineer here at ACI. Today, I would like to discuss why monitoring a building or room's pressure is important when controlling positive air exfiltration and negative air infiltration. Controlling the pressure can lower the building's heating and cooling load, decrease the operational costs of the HVAC equipment, prevent room cross-contamination, and make the occupants in the building more comfortable. ACI offers a full line of differential pressure transmitters and pickup ports that can be used to monitor a room or building's pressure for these types of applications. How air flows throughout a building is complex and can influence air pressure everywhere in the structure. There are many variables such as wind, thermal effects, building design, and operation of heating, cooling, and exhaust systems that influence whether a structure will be in a state of positive or negative pressure. Positive pressure in a building occurs when the pressure inside is greater than the pressure outside. Negative pressure occurs when the indoor pressure is less than the pressure outside. Seasonal weather changes, the height of the structure, and the room's function are all factors that determine whether your application requires negative or positive pressure. The pressure inside a building relative to outside should be slightly negative or neutral during cold weather because dry winter air can prevent moisture from condensing inside the building. Slightly positive pressure during warmer weather helps prevent high humidity within the space. Excessive building pressure, whether negative or positive, can cause multiple issues and should be avoided. Controlling a building's ventilation system based on pressure is important for the integrity of the structure and the comfort of its occupants. ACI offers a full line of differential pressure transmitters and pickup ports that can be used to monitor a room or building's pressure for these types of applications. The outdoor and indoor pickup ports are designed to be used in conjunction with our DLP or MLP2 low differential pressure transmitters to provide a weatherproof outdoor reference point when monitoring building static pressure. The A/O-PUP Dash H is designed to be horizontally mounted with the tube parallel with the ground or roof. Our A slash O dash PUP dash V is designed to be vertically mounted with the tube pointed downwards towards the ground or roof. Make your selection based on the mounting preference that'll work best for your scenario. When providing an indoor pressure reference, you can use either our room enclosure pickup ports, the A slash R dash PUP, or a slash R2 dash PUP or use the sleek A slash SP dash PUP stainless steel wall plate. Also keep in mind, ACI offers 10, 20, and 100 foot medical tubing kits made of an FDA approved food medical grade flexible PVC to run between the pickup ports and the pressure transmitter. Refer to our installation instructions for mounting considerations and best practices for mounting locations. Whether the building requires a slightly positive or negative pressure, you will need an outdoor and indoor pressure sample reference. Our DLP or MLP2 pressure transducer will provide an analog output signal based on the difference between the indoor and outdoor pressure, controlling the building's ventilation or exhaust damper. We recommend mounting either our horizontal or vertical outdoor pickup port outside the building or in the fresh air intake connected to the low port of the pressure transducer. Typically, the high port would be sampling pressure from the first floor common hallway in the building, utilizing either a room or wall plate pickup port. 
An example scenario where you would need positive pressure in a space would be a clean room. This is achieved by pumping filtered air into the room, keeping any possible contaminants from infiltrating the space. To maintain positive pressure, the air pressure in the room must be greater than the pressure outside of the room. In this case, you would mount the pickup port going to the high side of either our DLP or MLP2 pressure transducer inside the clean room, and the low side pickup port should be mounted outside the room in a common hallway. You can use any of our room or wall plate pickup ports for sampling pressure in and out of the room. An application that would require negative pressure in a room would be a pharmaceutical or chemical lab environment. A negative pressure room includes a ventilation system designed so air flows from hallways or any other adjacent area into the negative pressure room, ensuring contaminated air cannot escape potentially affecting occupants outside the room. In this case, the pickup port connected to the high port of the pressure transducer would be mounted in a common hallway outside the room, and the pickup port connected to the low port would be mounted inside the lab. Again, monitoring and controlling a building or room's pressure can be complex, and many different variables can affect your results. Maintaining the preferred building pressure in the face of continuously changing conditions requires constant active monitoring and airflow adjustment. The goal is not to have an excessive negative or positive pressure. As you can see, we offer a variety of products used for monitoring pressure in these and other applications. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to contact us with any questions on these or any other ACI products. There you go, Kurt. Thanks a lot. Hey, if you're looking for um, if you're looking for ACI sensors, um, all my friends at CGNA, most distributors across the country stock them. I'll put a link to the CGNA Controls distributors in the show notes. Plus, uh, hey. So if you're having trouble finding one, maybe consider buying it from my favorite distributor, Stromquist & Company in Atlanta. That's S -S Stromquist, S-T-R-O-M-Q-U-I-S-T dot com. We'll see you next time, Control Pro.